Yeah, nah, I mean, dude, shout out to him, bro, because him and even Hollow, man, uh, are doing a very risky thing. Not even, I guess not risky because, you know, he's getting paid and that's what the fuck he does. He's a rapper. Right. Um, but the God tiers, right? Like the God tier guys, the unstoppable guys, man, they're starting to look human. Hollow's starting to look human. And I think, uh, I think his shine performance is going to be uh, telling too, man. Like a lot of people like Lux and them, like they still have that aura around them. And I think mm-hmm. you lose that with more activity. Like the more yeah. you start battling, the more we start seeing you, you know, fumbly bumbly. You start, you start, you start to look regular. Yeah, you yeah, got yeah, beat yeah. up in that fucking second round. Hey, that bar was garbage. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I had a... Let me go back to that 2007 <laughs> battle. Let me see what everyone's talking about. Not... Yeah, and Lux, and Lux, and like, like you said, man, because Lux versus Surf, I thought Lux did well, but I, I didn't feel like he was in rare form, you know, from what I'm usually seeing from Lux. And then yeah. from what Daylight did, you know, it was like, damn. Oh, like, God. You know oh, what I'm yeah, saying? Man, so, for sure. Oh, Daylight must have yeah. loved, Daylight loved that for sure. Loved that. <laughs> Performing like that on the same night that Lux performed like that. Yeah. 100%. And I th- I don't know, man. I feel like uh, probably if I look back on it, and I'm sure Lux was still great because he's just such a good writer and performer Mm -hmm. um and man i don't i don't give anybody like slack but yeah that that night was fucking weird man with the cameras and shit dude they were were doing it like in your face there was a single camera person that would literally like walk up to you and like fucking follow your face (laughs) mad close it was very it was very fucking weird and it had an echo like crazy that's what i heard yeah when surf battle lux yeah (laughs) but see lux and that's the crazy thing like lux bro like when i say he i'm usually seeing him in rare form like i guess from my what what i take out of battle rap and what i like what he does i feel like with a crowd is where i love lux you know what i'm saying so in that smaller room you know he's meant for that don't get me wrong you feel me but I'd rather see him on a stage to where, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I don't know what it is, man. Like, that's just me, but, yeah. That's the weird part, dude, because he, like, defies the laws of lyricism and what a main stage performance should be because mm-hmm. he's the guy that, like, people would say, if you took his style and forgot his name, would probably say, yeah, that style doesn't work on a big stage. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Heavily intricate, layered, multi-syllable, mm-hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, wild angles, no right. setup, no dancing around, like, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. he's one of the most effective in a big room. And it's, right. it's like a weird, it, it almost doesn't make sense, but, you know, he's okay. he's insane, man. I think, to me, he's still, he's still got that aura. Yeah, he's still, yeah. He's still got tier, for sure. Um, do you have a GOAT? Battle Rap stops today. Do you have a greatest of all time? Whew. Battle Rap Bring stops out the big guns. today. Yes. Hot uh, seat, sir. Hot the GOAT? Seat, sir. My, my GOAT, my GOAT, man. Look, so I got I got a couple different definitions when it comes to my GOAT because... Okay. Just don't say too Okay, I, I, I'm going <laughs> to go all around, bro. All around for me. Yeah. I'm, I'm a K-Shine fan, bro. Woo! Like... I'm a I'm a Sean fan. Like I can't I can't deny it, bro. I'm a Sean fan through and through. Like from performance to aggression to lyric ability to stage presence to you know what I'm saying star power to to everything. I just feel like in every battle you get that from him. Like like yep. when when anybody in the past has asked me what battle rap is, that's who I put on. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. And then on on the other side of things, when I say you know I have different people. Hitman Holler, man. Like, at the end of the day, you know, he's one of my goats for performance. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, you can say whatever you want about his material. You can say whatever you want about if he loses battles. He, You remember shit that he does for years down the line. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? One, yeah, 100%. Just etched in the history books, like, forever. When you think battle rap, you think of that. And yeah. K-Shine, dude, I'll, I'll quote myself at the end of 2020, and I'm sticking to it now. I said literally verbatim, if Battle Rap were to stop today, K-Shine, you could build the biggest case for K-Shine mm-hmm. being the greatest of all time. 100% from, from accolades to appearances to moments to body bags to rounds to classics. Mm-hmm. Like, some of the greatest moments of Battle Rap have been have been from k shine k shine is right. easily easily in the go category if, if battle rap were to stop today 100 yeah. fucking percent and i think now man like now like it's, it's crazy because i feel like you i feel like you you have to you have to mention 
you have to mention twerk and Geechee, bro. Like, you just have to min- mention, like, what they've done. And rum, like, what they've done yeah. leading up to what they're doing now. You know, obviously, twerk has, has had his setbacks and stuff like that. But yeah. on, on 100, man, like, you can't deny the fact that this man might be the greatest when it's all said and done. And then, you know, you talk about rum nitty, like, he feel like he brought a new because because before him you know people were saying the punch crown belonged to like the b magic and and, and you know what i'm saying people like that and then when yeah. rum came into the game i feel like he revamped the whole style of punching bro 100%. and made it more digestible for fans in, in a way and then you know of course like geechee you know what i'm saying geechee's the most adaptable battle rapper i've ever seen in my life he's a fucking and what juggernaut I, man he's a and juggernaut. what i mean by that like when i first saw him i was like i'm not gonna lie like when i first saw geechee i'm like ah you know what I mean? Like, for what I like from Battle Rap, he, he, he cool. And then as I saw him grow, bro, and then starting to be put in these positions with these matchups that everybody didn't think, like, oh, that he would come out of, he would adapt to to certain styles and rooms. And, and, and I was like, yo, this is insane, bro. This is amazing to watch. Yeah. And now, like, you know, watching him, bro, he give me, like, chills when I hear him rap, like, the, 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 the content that he has and, and the way he puts, you know, different materials, round structure is insane. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Geechee running and twerking, man. Yeah, 100%, man. Geechee Ge- grew on me for sure uh, because he evolved crazy. Yeah. If I didn't mm-hmm. look at him as that, I didn't look at him as that nice, man. When he first when he first yeah. came onto the URL, I've and but I but I took a a normal approach that I would for someone that's just getting on the URL. They discover you know a fresh talent, a new talent. Mm-hmm. He was a kind of new talent. He didn't have a right. lot to him. You know what I'm saying? Had like mm-hmm. a little habit of doing the like the real talk bars but like not Mm -hmm. being that direct and like i was hard on him but he's evolved crazy he's freestyling now fucking schemes his angles are crazy his he's known for the third rounds like geechee's yeah geechee has um has evolved something serious man which which is also a dope thing this to see um just even being in the uro six years back and then seeing just Mm -hmm. how much fucking better people are now yeah, it's bro. just crazy seeing the evolution, and it's dope seeing people like you too. Because like guys like you, we didn't think existed. Like yeah. when 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 I was on the URL, like in the beginning, two three years in, we were talking about battle rap dying in like four mm-hmm. four five years, because the whole yeah. conversation was like when Verb decides to stop battling, when K Shine and yeah. DNA fall back, and 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 all the you know murder mooks and the serious Jones and the clips and everybody like who's gonna take. You know what I'm saying? Like, who's gonna keep Battle Rap alive? And then right. Riz came along, Top came along, Chess, and and uh, mm-hmm. you know a couple other people. And right. um, we're like, okay, cool. But I don't know if they'll, you know, I don't know if they're gonna pass the torch. Right. And then the Avs came along, Rum Nitty came along, Twerk came along, Mike P came along. Right. Mike was P. Like, yeah. Right, there you cool, go. Cool. Cool. <laughs> and then the last wave, the the sick and the easy to block happen. That was completely mm-hmm. out of nowhere. And then mm-hmm. dudes like you and Next and Elijah and Brandon and MVP blindsided everybody mm-hmm. and was like, yeah. just in case you didn't know like yeah. what I'm about, like I'm here yeah. as well. And I can't wait to see you thrown into the mix, bro. I can't wait to see you embarrass that first guy that's like, hey. wait, but I'm the I'm the yeah. f- the star football <laughs> player. What happened? Right. I've been here for... Yeah. Right. It's new RL, man. You know what I'm saying? People need to it start is, saying bro. the movement. You heard new Dude, RL, I was baby. so against that at first. And I was like, oh, yeah, no, no, no. It is. Yeah, yeah it's crazy because every day, bro, every day I see somebody on Twitter, like, talking about, like, new era and then new era versus new RL. And, yeah. and even be putting those conversations. It's like, damn, bro, like, you know what I mean? Because we, we didn't think, you know, when you, when you, when you come into URL, especially your first plate really being on caffeine, everybody seeing you, like, you don't think like it's going to take off like that. You know what I'm saying? No, like don't, after yeah. that battle, man, you know, I got a lot of love and, and my fans and my new fans and stuff like that. Like, I love y'all to death because, you know what I'm saying? Y'all definitely put the fire back under me. Like, you know what I mean? Like to really do this. So shout yeah. out to y'all. But I watched you versus Av a while ago, man. Oh, and God. I want to say, I want to say, bro, like the way you evolved and, and changed up and, and gotten better, bro. It's insane. It's, it's, it's amazing to watch you. Like you versus real sick is probably one of my favorite battles ever in history. Like Thank I'm not you, even going to pat through you. you that dude. shit is insane, bro. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, dude. I had to get better <laughs> after that <laughs> Av battle. I was like, Oh, I got to work on a couple of things. <laughs> Maybe I should throw a couple more punchlines in there. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, oh my god.